What's going on everybody? Um, I figured I would review the final Witch House film. Since I already reviewed the first two, I figured I might as well review the third one and wrap up the trilogy. And uh, this one is Witch House 3, Demon Fire, uh, from the year 2001. It has a tagline of The Legacy Continues. Um, this one opens up with uh, a female character who is in a relationship with a um, abusive boyfriend or husband. And uh, he either like punches her or smacks her or something, and she's like finally had enough, so she's uh, she like rolls out and uh, moves in with her two friends uh, who are also female. And uh, these two friends are um, into like the witchcraft thing and stuff, and uh, they're they're making a documentary. Uh, they're like you know aspiring filmmakers, and and they want to make a documentary about. Uh, witches and witch witchcraft and stuff so uh they're chilling there they end up having a few drinks in the hot tub and stuff and uh they decide to do a seance type thing and uh the power goes out and crazy shit happens and then um that's pretty much where you got your movie um the return of Lilith, uh, who is the, the main witch from the witch house films which um I, I actually am like pretty happy that they um, the set, you know, the, uh, full moon went, went ahead and, and, you know, kept some continuity in it, you know, with the Lilith character, um, Lilith Le Fay. And, uh, you know, even though they really don't have a whole lot to do with each other, I thought that that, you know, was a, at least something. Um, anyway, this one to me felt extra, it, it looked and felt extra low budget compared to the other two. Um, all of them are really low budget, but, uh, this one looks it. And uh, that that was kind of a a, a bit of a negative, I guess. Um, the, throughout the 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 whole storyline is really dumb, in my opinion. Um, the 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 ending and the um, you know what what's go what's really going on. You find, like it, I don't know if they trying to do a twist or something, but nothing worked in the storyline. Uh, it's pretty uh, basic too. There's there's nothing uh, really you know, new or exciting or, you know, awesome. There's not really any of those kind of scenes. Um, the acting was okay-ish. Um, I actually, the, the main thing I liked about it was I actually liked all three girls for some reason. Um, but you don't have a whole lot of good in this movie. Uh, you have, uh, it, 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 even though it felt kind of really low budget, they actually had a good bit of locations, you know, some nice locations like the beach and stuff, uh, which I, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, but, uh, I actually like the 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 um some of the dialogue between the characters early on. Um, they was talking about why witches ride on broomsticks and stuff, and uh, you know where that originated from. And I remember hearing about <clears throat> about this a uh, long time ago, and it was funny to hear it in this movie. Um, and then there's a there's a pretty cool shower scene uh, with one of the girls, and that's about it though. There's no like kills or anything that it, that's any good. Um, there's no really good uh, effects or anything. Mostly, uh, pretty boring movie actually. Um, so I would probably give this, you know, uh, for the few things that I did like, I would probably give it a one out of uh, one point five out of five. Um, I usually rate higher instead of lower anyway. So uh, this is, uh, you know, <laughs> it, it's probably maybe not a one point five, but I'll give it a one point five because I liked a few things. But uh, yeah, that's my review on. Uh, Witch House 3, Demon Fire, and uh, I'll see you guys with uh, my next video.